Hey, hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are going to be taking a look at some of the trophies I've killed at this Kudu hotspot over the last few days. Uh, we have got a lot of cool trophies, and not just Kudu, there was also a few other nice trophies that we ended up getting that will be in this video as well, and the main part of this video is going to be something very special that I've only found one of in the past, and uh, by the title of this video, you guys probably already know what it is, but uh, let's go ahead and try to take down this kudu I am like 99% sure that this is going to be a diamond uh, with those horns I think it should make it it is a beautiful kudu and just like that it's on the ground that thing looks like it's probably going to be a diamond level 4 hopefully we can push these out into the open and see if there's anything else worth shooting but that right there looked to be a diamond kudu I have a feeling we're going to get quite a few diamond kudu from this spot over the next few months and even years. This is just a great spot and there's always going to be more and more people coming to Call of the Wild so there will still be servers that are unsearched at this location even probably months after this video goes live. Pretty excited to continue hunting this area to try and find some rares. Uh, sadly, I've had very little luck with getting rares at this location, but we've had a decent amount of diamonds and stuff like that. And that right there is a very stunning kudu. I definitely think this has to be a diamond. That looks exactly like some of the diamonds I've killed. Let's go ahead and pick it up. It's a gold by point two. Oh man, that was so close. So I was right with it being the diamond horns, it just, uh, just fell short by a tiny bit. That's quite unfortunate. 0.20 below diamond, uh, but honestly, that's a pretty good way to start out at location number one, or I guess server number one. Well, server number two on our search for a rare male kudu has brought us a rare female. Not exactly what I was looking for, but you know what? A rare's a rare. We'll still get it down. We can use these for multi mounts, so it's uh, it's not all bad. Let's go ahead and just drop that on the spot. And I'm pretty sure the rest of them were nothing special. However, we will chase them up into the fields and then kind of scan all of them as they try to return to their zones. Hopefully we can spot something else worth taking, but at least we got ourselves a little rare female. Oh my gosh, there's just so many kudu. And this is why I really love this spot. It's just such an insane place to go if you're looking for some kudu trophies. And uh, if you're curious where this is, it's uh, right here down near the Fever Tree Forest. I've shown this area off in the last couple of videos, I believe, but you know, I'm sure there's some people that haven't seen those, so we might as well show it off again. But that is our little albino kudu. If you head to this zone between the hours of 10 and 14, there's a pretty good chance you'll find a very large herd of kudu down here. And uh, most likely, there'll be something decent. There's a pretty good chance that there will be. But that is our first rare of the day. Unfortunately, it is just a female, but still really, really cool. As far as I understand, the only rares for the female kudu is albino and then the red brown. I have yet to see a red brown ever since they did this uh, update to the True Rex kudu. I just have not seen anything like that, so I'm wondering if they made them more rare because they did kind of standardize the rarity of a lot of animals to kind of make it, I guess, in line with all other species. So I guess maybe Kudu Red Brown was one of them. Yeah, there's uh, nothing special in these Kudu as they are uh, coming back down, so I think it's about time we jump to the third server of the day and see if we can find something good there instead of what we're seeing now. Another server, and that means another very large sampling of kudu to look through. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything crazy on this one. I think, honestly, the best thing I've seen is a small level 4. So, we're going to push them up into the fields and see if anything else reveals itself. Hopefully, there's a rare that's been hiding or a nice diamond. Either way, that would be great if that is the case. So, let's see if we can just push them up and hopefully there's going to be something good. Well, nothing too notable on this server, so I think we will probably move on to the next. However, um, I did not spook those off, so I've got a feeling there might be a lion near, because that was definitely not me that spooked them off. Oh, the double ATVs, that would, that would probably be it. Well then, uh, another reason for us to go ahead and uh, leave the server. 
But somebody was already hunting the Kudu hotspot on this server, so I decided to come over to the backup hotspot. Uh, this one is actually just up by this outpost. It's kind of where I go to whenever the other place is just completely covered with people or it's already been hunted. It's kind of over in this area. I like to kind of loop around to the right a little bit. That way the wind isn't an issue because quite often the wind will be blowing right at them. And uh, once we get over here, we'll start calling them in and hopefully there'll be something good in there. This is one of those zones where it's easier to call them in. And then once you've scanned everything, I try to push them out into the open. But uh, there's quite a bit of trees, so it can be difficult to get all of them to push out, which is why it's good to call them in first and at least see if you can get a good one to come out that way. Well, it really does not appear that anything uh, too special has decided to come out. Uh, we do have a couple more over there, but overall I don't really see anything too crazy and- Oh, hello there. How are you only alerted? Well, that's a typical multiplayer for you. But anyway, now that we have uh, called these out and found that there's nothing too crazy that's at least uh, close, what we're going to do is push them out into the fields and uh, hopefully we can spot something good out of them since uh, there was nothing good that came to the call. Well, after pushing them out into this field over here, I didn't spot anything too special and I didn't see any good cape buffalo or jackal over at this lake either, which is another reason why I do like this spot because once you push all the kudu out, you can also check for jackal and cape buffalo. Sadly, there was nothing good for any of them, so I think let's uh, move on to another server. I believe we're on server number four now, and that is the best kudu that we've seen on this one so far. I don't think that's gonna be diamond, I think it's just a very high estimate for level four, uh, but it doesn't look like diamond horns. Obviously, we'll take it down on the off chance that it is just a very tight diamond, because that always is a possibility, but I, I really don't think that one looks like a diamond. Uh, we will continue running up here though, and take a look at all of them as they come back, just in case we missed a rare or a level five. And uh, if there's anything special, we will take it down. Yeah, if I were to take a guess, that's probably a mid-140s kudu, but it's always worth a shot, at least since it does have a pretty decent estimate. We might as well try to get it down, and then also we'll see if we can maybe get down another one, provided there's another decent estimate kudu in this group. All right, well, here is our little kudu. Let's hope this thing ends up being on the high end of that estimate, uh, just by the looks of it here. I don't think it will be. The uh, spread is not very good, but it's a cool looking kudu nonetheless. I, I do like the way it looks. It is a gold 143. Uh, that's kind of what I expected, but I was just hoping that maybe, maybe there was a small chance that it could have been just a very tight diamond. Unfortunately, it's not, but I love the way these ones look, so not all bad. Okay, so Cookie Plays here, who is in the uh, server right now, has just pointed out something that I think is actually pretty interesting, so I figure we might as well mention it in this video. Apparently, it seems the dark and beige fur types for the Gemsbok are now rares, because now that I think of it, I haven't seen a single one. And I've spotted easily a few hundred Gemsbok since the update, and uh, Cookie is saying the exact same thing, so it seems like they might have made all color phases, or uh, all different fur types that aren't common for the Gemsbok, they might actually all be rares now. Which is kinda cool, I'm honestly all for that. It's gonna make getting like a beige that much more cool, I guess, and uh, considering I've never actually put one in my lodge before because I never got a diamond potential while they were still uh, uncommons, I think that's pretty cool, it's gonna make it exciting when I finally do find a nice one. Well, after checking probably nine different servers at this point, I have not been able to find any of the rare male kudu that we're looking for. At least we managed to find a level four that was 0.2 off of diamond and that little albino female. But I think it's about time we jump into all of the awesome highlights that I've had hunting the uh, kudu hotspot in the last few days because I have had some pretty good luck with that zone. It has been kind of crazy just the stuff that we've managed to find and we're gonna go over all of them starting right now. So the first one that we're gonna take a look at is actually a pretty large level 4 kudu. This ended up being I think the biggest level 4 kudu that I've been able to come across. Uh, we decided to try and take it down on the off chance that it was going to be a diamond because it did look relatively large and they can make diamonds so I decided we might as well take a shot on this guy with the 30-06 and we got a pretty decent hit right there. Then we get up to him and I immediately could see that this was 100% the diamond horns. So I 
got a nice picture of it next to our dog and sure enough a 152 diamond a pretty good looking kudu also I do really like the diamond kudu they've grown on me quite a bit uh, this guy right here was a pretty good level 5 as well I believe this is actually our biggest level 5 diamond kudu he was giving us quite a few issues just not really going broadside so I did have to wait a decent amount of time for him to actually give us the shot and uh, once we got the shot on him we once again took him out with the 270 this time I believe and in fact the last one might have been the 270 as well I've kind of forgot at this point but this guy right here ended up being a 154 and easily the nicest looking kudu we've killed as you can see he's just got the really deep uh, spirals on his horns and I think that is probably the best looking diamonds for them but then this ended up happening a few days later we came across something that I have only seen one time and that is a level 9 legendary side stripe jackal I wanted to make sure that we did not screw this thing up so I took the extra time to try and get extremely close to him and make sure that we could take a good shot because the last thing I wanted to do was mess up something that I've only seen one other time in my entire time playing Call of the Wild so the second that he gave us a good shot I decided to take it and we ended up dropping him on the spot I was so nervous that we were going to mess this thing up and I was also nervous I was going to get kicked from the server because that has happened a few times so I went up there and claimed him immediately and it ended up being I believe our biggest side stripe jackal that we've ever killed uh, I think so at least it's definitely a giant and it's so nice to see a diamond one after so long of just not finding any good jackal part of that's because I don't uh, hunt them but at the end of the day I'm just super happy that we finally got another diamond one and it ended up being a pretty nice one at that well with that hunt coming to an end I think it's about time we go ahead and put up some of the trophies that we got during that hunt because we do have some pretty sweet kudu trophies along with that amazing diamond jackal and I think what we're gonna do is probably replace this kudu here with the brand new one if we can go ahead and grab that because I do think that is a better looking kudu and it kind of fits in this spot nicely with our old legacy kudu I believe this is our biggest one yeah definitely is so that is pretty sweet we got our legacy and our true X side by side both of them are pretty good scoring ones and I think we're gonna go, go replace one of these other ones as well so let's go ahead and find where we put the other kudu so that is what we have decided to do with our side stripe jackal I put it across from our other diamond jackal with the uh, piebald coyote right above them and I think that looks pretty good I'm actually going to move around the kudu a little bit once again because I've got a pretty cool idea and it's going to involve putting all of them up here now though I will admit it kind of does throw off the whole look with the legacy one right there and then all of the different Truex ones lining up kind of for the rest of it but honestly I think it still looks pretty good I definitely like the way that looks and I think we're gonna leave it like that at least for a little while maybe one of these days we'll move around a legacy and in fact you know what let's do it let's take our lowest scoring one and swap it out with another legacy there we go I think that looks really good unfortunately since all of my uh, legacy kudu were before the new scoring system besides the the one on the end the score shows like completely off because of the I guess update that they did where it doesn't show the 1 to 1000 anymore and it goes off of their old trophy ratings but then for some reason doesn't even show the correct trophy rating I don't know why they did that but you know what it's not that big of a deal I guess it still looks the same as it did but I'm really liking this wall I think it's turning out well and I think we're probably going to leave it like this for quite a long time but if you're brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads and uh, yeah with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one peace